a, a big breakdown in a track, a big drop, you know, like sometimes I would just do what you feel. Don't feel like you have to have this blueprint um, that you, you have to subscribe to and, and work, um, you know, adhere to yeah. whatever. Like I, I don't get why people feel I, I love doing things without or, or making breakdowns a bit more interesting. Um, yeah, the track we, is really nice. It took me to a really good air, area in my mind that I remember this kind of 2000-ish kind of vibe. And, uh, you know, it's very wavy also. And I didn't feel like it's super trancy, but it was, feel, it was more wavy kind of vibe. And, you know, it was good. Yeah, it was, you ruined it. Was, it. Was, you ruined yeah. it with a snare roll. <laughs> no release I mean, for you. <laughs> no, but just remove the snare roll. I wonder what's coming up next, like after the, just for a second, I'll play it. I want to see what's after the. Yeah. Also, it's very, very long. Yeah, it's like. Great pad, great everything. Um, it's great yeah, everything. it is too long. Like, I think a track like that shouldn't be more than, it should be under six minutes for sure. Yeah. We have loops. I'm trying to explain to everybody now. I don't know where is this even current producer that's producing our music. We have loops. You know, like literally. I mean, you're using a computer, and uh, you know we're using the CG days. It's not different, and we just have. Uh, you know. Yeah. <laughs> Between yeah. one Facebook year, I give this track a seven. That's that's good. <laughs> I, I, yeah. It was yeah, it wasn't it wasn't bad. Like I could see myself playing it, but it needs work. It wasn't like by any means like finished. And would, the breakdown was for me just a big I would like I would probably have edited that out. Yeah. That breakdown out. Yeah. I mean I always uh I always also try to explain the the whole psychological meaning of this break it yeah. means if you have a break it means you need a break from the track yeah there's a lot of track that they have breaks where where i don't need a break yeah i'm enjoying the track i'm dancing i don't need a break you know it's i'm not 70 years old i don't need to sit down or i don't want to take out my phone and see what's going yeah. on or to p do a selfie on the dance floor or listen to other people talk there yeah. is tracks that you need a break and it could be a very short break this track can have a short break no snare yeah. rolls no nothing and it's a very good track i wonder when you started to dj you dj a lot in the us i mean you're from yeah. like you you're from iran but you grew up in dc most of your right yeah pretty much yeah and uh how was it in the us back then like in the beginning of everything were people talking in dance floors and stuff like this do you remember this stuff i mean we obviously didn't have cell phones so when you look at photos from that era like there's nobody with a cell phone everybody was kind of just lost in the groove everybody um, with spikes though it's like yeah yeah funny <laughs> hair funny <laughs> hairstyles yeah and, uh, yeah but you would have you know you would have people get on the microphone and that would be a break from the track that's yeah. when people would maybe like come out of that that a uh, hypnotic state of really being immersed in something and yeah and uh and you know i think people got on the microphone then you know many still do now and people put in breakdowns and tracks to elicit some sort of a reaction from the crowd because it's not enough that that the people are just dancing with their eyes closed you know it's yeah. like you want them to jump up and down scream and wave their hands in the air on top of all that, yeah. and if they're not doing that, you feel like maybe you're not doing a good job as a DJ. <laughs> so yeah. I, I think that's why a lot of, I can kind of tell sometimes, and I know you can, I mean, uh, you know, you can feel when someone's forcing a breakdown into a track. Yeah, it's usually when I don't need a break, it's like when I listen to it and I don't, I don't say that, like my body doesn't tell me, okay, I've reached the kind of point now I need to regroup myself and you know and then jump forward and this kind of vibe yeah also but like you said with the microphone that's that's where all the samples started I'm imagining you know that people needed to put their hands up in the air 
and this kind of stuff, you know, <laughs> back then. Yeah. So I imagine I imagine this is where it started. But I I wonder, I want to ask you something which is weird yeah. because it's like a double edged sword. If now we'll start, we have a good reset time now for clubs. Yeah. Forget about Dubai, Miami, and Tulum for a second. But the, the worldwide economy of clubbing is pretty much on the low point. And yeah. uh, if I would say, okay, we're gonna we're gonna we're gonna get everybody together, all the DJs, and we're gonna say no more cell phones on the dance floor in the booths. And this kind of stuff. You can have your cell phone. You can use it, but no pictures, yeah. no bullshit. Would you be up for it? Even though I have to say that it does help careers. I'm not saying not. Because yeah. people are doing this. They're pushing you in the social media. Oh, you know. Yeah. Bullshit. Would you be up for it? Would I be up for it? Of course. Yeah. I mean, what, you know, a lot of the clubs in Berlin, the, you have to put like a little sticker on the uh, on the cell phone. And and the minute, you know, I made the mistake, obviously, like everyone else, like of getting drunk yeah. and forgetting because yeah. I'm so used to it. Like, but it's usually, it's not like, I'm not trying to capture the moment necessarily on the dance floor. I'm just trying to take a photo with like a friend of mine who I haven't seen in a while or something like that. You know, it's usually another DJ or something like yeah. that, like an innocent photo. And then I get called out by this security. <laughs> Uh, and, I, and then I, I remember that I'm not supposed to be doing that. But yeah, I, I mean, there was a time before all this, you know, cell phone uh, usage and before social media where, uh, you know, our industry thrived uh, just as well without yeah. all that stuff. So yeah. for sure, we can easily get back to that and it'll, it'll continue to thrive. But right now, everybody wants to capture the moment because uh, they need content social media content because if you don't have content then you don't exist as a person you're not relevant <laughs> it's like i think the, yeah. the belief these days amongst everyone i mean i believe in content but i believe in good content i don't believe in any content good content is all right content that will show you true who you are that's great yeah some yeah. posting of some people with ba i don't want people with bathing suits to listen to my music <laughs> it sounds weird but this is not what i make music you know you yeah. can dance and enjoy yeah eh, just not know. on the beach yeah <laughs> uh, unless it's like a beachy kind of head candy yeah it's like you know give give that that thing a space you know that's what i feel yeah, okay let's move on let's move on before 